This summer, I've been working, along with Adam's team, on archive log analysis improvement. What's that? Well, let's start with what is archive. Archive.cloudera.com is the URL which hosts all downloads of CDH and CM. So the logs which track the downloads of CDH and CM are stored on archive. Flume moves these raw logs to HDFS. We take these raw logs and parse them into a query-friendly format for easy extraction of data. I used Python scripts and Hive to do this, John used Java and Impala, and we went with his method. Here's an example of an entry from the SSL logs. I changed the IP address to an arbitrary IP, which is the first nine digits of fee in sequence. This entry is chock full of information, but what information do we care about the most? Well, we care about the IP address, the date, which we capture in two separate formats, the platform, the product, and the whole message. After parsing, the raw entry looks like this. You may ask why we capture the entire message. Well, this is because we don't want to lose important information, like checking if the HTTP request ended up being successful. All right, awesome. We've parsed these raw strings into categories, but is there any information implicit in these entries that we haven't yet utilized? We've got an IP address, but this IP address doesn't explicitly state who tried to download our product from Archive. Who are these people? What organizations do they belong to, and where on this earth are they downloading from? Who is is a reverse IP lookup system which returns the organizational information associated with a given IP address. This IP address ends up corresponding to a Hewlett Packard here in Palo Alto. One of the things I created this summer is a Java library which returns the Whois information of any given IP address. Doing a Whois lookup via the command line for every IP address is totally fine if you're doing it for a small set of IP addresses. But one Whois lookup takes two to three seconds. The downloads log of just one day contains millions and millions of IP addresses. So, two to three seconds times a million? Mm -mm. In short, my system stores the Whois records for all IP addresses it has ever processed in a table. So expensive Whois lookups are only done for a small subset of all of the millions and millions of given IP addresses. Not only that, but the library gets smarter as it processes more and more IP addresses and adds more and more Whois records to the table. But explaining the library that way, at such a high level of abstraction, oversimplifies all the things I've learned this summer while programming this library. So I'll expand on it a little bit more. There are four main players here. There's the SQL table, which stores all past Whois records permanently, but is only accessible over the network. HashMap, which loads all records from the SQL table locally, to speed the process of checking if an IP has been looked up before. The Whois lookup, which talks to the Whois servers to get the organizational information for IP addresses not in the HashMap. And the lookup manager who runs the show. After the job is done and a Whois record has been returned for each IP address, the lookup manager takes all of the new records and does a batch insert into the SQL table. A new lookup manager has been instantiated. Hey, can I get a hash map to store some records locally? Hey, I'm here to store all of the past who is records locally, so you don't have to call SQL table over the network each time. Hey, SQL table, can you send hash map all of the who is records for the IPs you've processed before? Thanks. Bye. You got the records loaded? I've got the records loaded, indexed, and ready to go. Awesome. This is what happens if an IP address has been encountered before. Got any entries for 1.1.1? Yep. You do? Awesome. Thanks. This is what happens if an IP address has not been encountered before. Hashmap, what about this one? We don't have an entry for that IP address. All right, we'll have to call Whois. Hey, Whois, ask your servers for information on this IP address and bring it back in a record format. Yeah, sure. Hey, servers, what information do you have on this IP address? Come on, servers, it's not that hard. Just figure out which one of you guys hosts this IP address. Ugh, finally. Wait, I can't give this format to Lookup Manager. Hey, Regex, can you put this information into record format? Thanks, Regex, you're the best. Hey, Lookup Manager, here's the record you asked for. Thanks, who is? HashMap. Make a note of this one to give to SQL table later. Whew, job is over. Now that we've processed all the given IP addresses, we can update SQL table with all the new records we found. Hey, SQL table? Yeah, I've got some new records I think you'll be interested in adding to the library for next time. All right, yeah, bye. Now that we have the information from the logs and the Whois information in one place, I come to the last part of my project. What can this information tell us about our downloaders? Here's the number of successful downloads per platform, the top CM downloaders, and here's a thermal map showing the worldwide download density. Anyway, thank you for making my summer unforgettable.